More plagiarism accusations against Harvard's president, Claudine Gay. Harvard has received a complaint outlining over 40 incidents of plagiarism. Now the House Education Committee is expanding its probe into the Ivy League school to include these plagiarism accusations and citing Harvard's own honor code. Molly Line joins us now live from Newton, Massachusetts, just west of Harvard. Molly. That's right. Good afternoon, Tammy. Yeah, as Congress expands this planning, this deep dive into these allegations of plagiarism against Harvard's president, spanning her academic work over a quarter century or so, as well as the university's handling of these accusations, the student newspaper, the Harvard Crimson, is highlighting reports that the president, Claudine Gay, will submit three additional corrections to her 1997 Ph.D. dissertation. That news coming in last evening through the Harvard Corporation, that's the governing body at Harvard, which previously acknowledged the gay would be correcting two articles following, quote, a few instances of inadequate citation. Republican Congresswoman Virginia Fox of North Carolina, she's the chairwoman of this investigating committee, sent a letter to the Harvard Corporation yesterday asking if the university holds its faculty and academic leadership to the same standards as other members of the Harvard community. The letter notes that students have suffered consequences after facing various allegations, including some for plagiarism, and demands that Harvard hand over records regarding its own independent review of gay scholarship. Fox writes, our concern is that standards are not being applied consistently, resulting in different rules for different members of the academic community. She also notes federal funding to Harvard is conditioned upon the school's adherence to the standards of a recognized accreditor. The House Education Workforce Committee, worth noting, has already been investigating Harvard related to anti-Semitism in the wake of October 7th uh, attacks by Hamas. Tammy? Molly, thank you very much. You know, Morgan, this really is about, uh, you see this, and there's so much outrage. I mean, people make mistakes, and you want to try to correct them. Uh, but in this case, we know that students have been expelled, that there is a, a hard line for what you're going to deliver or not deliver. Isn't this about that, about the double standard? You know, it's interesting. Eliana Johnson from the Free Beacon, who was one of the moderators at the last Republican debate, pointed out in a, a tweet or an X, whatever you call it, this morning, uh, that some people that were defending uh, the president of Harvard have said, well, you know, maybe this criticism would be valid from other sectors. And I'm paraphrasing. But essentially, this criticism is not valid because it's coming from the right. So right. what we're seeing is that people are, are just going into digging their trenches uh, on the party lines. I also have to say, by the way, that I just have to thank my good friend, Elise Stefanik, a congresswoman in the House, uh, for her questioning uh, of Claudine Gay uh, of Harvard and the other universities. Mm -hmm. Do you know that that has been viewed more than any other congressional testimony in history? Yeah. And so when you well. think that what the House, when you think, oh, it doesn't matter what Congress does, you know what? Elise Stefanik and that team uh, have changed and, and, and you're seeing yeah. uh, conviction and you're seeing people yeah. being held accountable. But unfortunately, I do think, Tammy, that people are just getting into a partisan trench over this as opposed to looking at her conduct and behavior. Well, I, we, that's a thing we can actually try to make sure doesn't happen. And also, when you think about Stefanik, I was thrilled because, yeah. you know, you look at those three women at the time, uh, the presidents of the universities and being so disappointed with women who should have known better. And then there's Elise Stefanik and, and, and Representative Fox really showing us what women can do in this case. That's right, a refreshing change and turn of events um, showing us what it could look like. I, the way I view this is this is sort of the slow drip where you peel back a layer and you discover oh, someone has allegedly done something wrong and they correct and you say, oh, okay, fine. And then all of a sudden there starts to become a pattern mm. and unearthed is actually a quite large iceberg, monumental amount of allegations here for the same thing. So at what point, I ask, will Harvard say enough is enough and draw mm. that hypocritical distinction, draw the line between how they've treated their students mm -hmm. and how they're continuing to prop her up and make excuses and the like. We all see the reality and the truth. So it's incumbent upon Harvard to see whether they will look at themselves with that same scrutiny yeah. and identify what we can identify from sitting on If the it matters, if they really want to give the impression that they are fair. We saw what happened with McGill and her resignation. In this case, it seems to be more of an issue. Maybe it's not going to happen. Uh, what's your take? Harvard's clearly circling the wagons mm -hmm. around Claudine Gay at this point, but the money keeps what's well, not flowing in, if not leaving. There's a report out today that the billionaire Len Blav 
Votnik, his family foundation, that's given at least $270 million to Harvard, has paused donations. I know someone who has written Harvard out of his will. Excellent. Long, I, I know, but this could be actually a recruiting tool for Harvard because now I see people wearing Harvard sweatshirts and I'm like, bless your heart. <laughs> but, you know, it, again, to convince parents to pay $300 well, plus hundred thousand yeah. dollars to send their kids to there join a hate options. to join yes. a hate cult, mm -hmm. they can yeah. say, "Hey, you get to steal and stay now." If she <laughs> well, gets now, to Paul. cheat, if she gets to plagiarize <laughs> and stay, your yeah. kid gets well, to want to get steal Paul and stay. Take, I want to get Paul. Go for it. Uh, listen, all I'm going to say is this: I don't remember getting this many do-overs in school. Yeah. Right. All right? Right. So right. obviously something's going on. You didn't get to change your paper, did you? That's right. Didn't happen for me. So right. and I went to that school. So uh, you know, I went well, to a grad school there, and uh, it's a little embarrassing now. I don't like dropping the H bomb anymore. Yeah. Because, uh, <laughs> we 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 are on the verge of being able to make some great change, I think, across the country. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.